This is Geometry, Chapter 11, Section 5, in which we will study the areas of similar figures. And we get our first, last, and only theorem of this chapter. It says that uh, if you have similar polygons, then the areas are proportional to the square of the scale factor. And we know about similar figures, you have a scale factor. The new size divided by the old size is the scale factor. Well, to get to the areas, because area is in square units, you have to square the scale factor. That is the single most commonly missed thing in this entire chapter is that people forget to square their scale factor. So we're going to really have to be careful and conscious of what we're doing and use the square when we're talking about these areas. So for example here I have two pentagons. They look like they're regular pentagons. They may not be. They probably aren't given that this number comes out so clean. And we saw last time that they don't usually come out clean that way. But at any rate, we have two polygon, uh, pentagons that we're told are similar. So they want us to find the area of the figure on the right. Okay. Well, 72, the figure on the left, is to A, the figure on the right, as 12 to 5, and notice the key part, squared. Okay. If you went 5 over 12, you would have to go A over 72. Okay. As long as you go in the same order both times, you're okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and clean this 12 fifths squared up and get 144 to 25, just squaring each number. And this is what I'm going to work with to do my cross multiplying. And then divide by 144 and I find out that this area would be 12.5 whatever units they were measuring in. Okay, The key piece here is to remember you're dealing with a squared unit. So your scale factor needs to be squared. We can use the same idea to figure out a side length. If we know the areas, then we can work around that to get the side length. So we're going to set the same kind of proportion up. The area on the left over the area on the right, 50 to 72, equals the length on the left, to the length on the right, x to 6, squared because we're talking about area. Well, like I did last time, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. x squared over 6 squared, which is 36. And that's where I'll do my cross multiply step. Divide by the 72, take the square root, and we find out that x would be 5. The key thing here, like I said, is you have to use the square on your ratio. If you don't use the square on your ratio, you're going to get it wrong every time. Okay? If it accidentally comes up to the same answer, then it's a fluke in the numbers, not that you found a shortcut. Squares are key when you're dealing with area. If you had questions along the way, hopefully you wrote those down, bring them in with you, and we'll see you in class.